Let's take a closer look at the 6 hours of Imola 2025. Like always, to understand the result we have to take a look at the BOP ratings first. By far the worst rating, with even more weight and even less power than in Qatar, has the Toyota. It has 35 kg more and almost 30 horsepower less than the Peugeot for example, and could finish in 5th and 7th position, while Peugeot only reached 9th and 12th position. So Toyota has by far the worst rating and is competitive, while Peugeot has by far the best rating and still cannot drive at the front. Second worst rating as the Porsche, and while the ratio stayed the same compared to Qatar, they have less weight and less power now. In the race, they could finish in 8th, 11th and 14th position, and it seems like after the success of the last years, it's not wanted for them to be at the front anymore. A similar bad rating as the Aston Martin. As a new car, regulators are very careful and gave the non-hybrid V12 car 9 kg more compared to Qatar. They qualified last and finished last of the hypercars, 4 laps behind. A slightly better rating got the Ferrari, which could win the last race in Qatar. Now for Imola, they were given 8 kg more weight but also 7 kW more power, which improved their rating. And of course, if they could win last race and get a better rating now, they were very competitive qualified in front and won the race in Imola. Also, the Cadillac got more weight and more power for Imola, which resulted in a slightly better rating, but they could only finish in 10th and 16th position. BMW actually had the third best rating, with a bit more weight but also with a proper increase in power. They were competitive on track, which resulted in 2nd and 6th position. And the second best rating had the Alpine with 2 kg less than in last race and 11 kW more power, which made them a lot more competitive. So they could finish in 3rd and 13th position, although there were all sorts of trouble on the track. So it looks like a French success story is being prepared for this year's 24 hours of Le Mans, but Porsche, Toyota and Ferrari will still be competitive, even with bad ratings. So how did you like the 6 hours of Imola 2025? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.